Drop the old glasses down, it's a bit strong. Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt. And where we are is. Hold on, let's go straight. El Salam Road. El Salam Road. Um, it's one of the main roads that runs through this part. So hang on, I'll spin around. I'll spun the camera around for you. That direction from there is towards the airport. And you've also got a museum up that way. Al Salam Boulevard is I don't think we'll be back down this way. You can see in there. It's a spin back around on yourself, like a U-turn kind of thing. Like I say, there's more to explore up there. We're gonna oh. <laughs> the sandal has just come off my foot. So dotted all the way along here, you've got like I say there's hotels, one or two restaurants, cafes. There's one over there called Mango, that's a supermarket, which is a fixed price supermarket. You've got a, a beer shop over there. Uh, there's a hairdresser, hairdresser I think, there's a hairdresser there. Car hire. Souvenir shop. Um, what else have we got? It's like vape shops and... Um, what else have we seen, Shell? I bought us out of the shop along there. So all the way along here you've got these little units, these little shops. One's are natural oils and herbs. One's perfumes. We've got one there called Pasha. Um, this whole general area here is Nama Beer. And then you've got few restaurants over there Rosa Mal all sorts of different shops in there there's a the travel agency just straight down there Egypt Travel decided to cross the road just to make it a bit easier. So there's Julia's, Julia's, Jewelers, and there's a little market there. McDonald's. Spa, Shepherd Beer Shop there. Plane come into land. Pharmacy. What's that say? Gaffy Tours. Oriental what? Rivoli. Rivola. Rivoli. Don't know what that is. Diving centre. Something else as well, if you hear, if you hear horns tooting, what happens is we've got all these taxis, what they do is they come, as they're driving down, they'll toot the horn to see if you want a taxi. They don't hassle you or anything, it's uh, just every, every car that passes, there seems to be a taxi. See? Exactly what I mean. Okay, over the road.
I mean, taxis over here are quite cheap. So on the map, I don't know if it's picking it up, but that's where we are at the moment. Oh, oh, knock the button. Yeah, every time. Zoom back out. A little arrow there, that's where we are, and it's telling us to go down this way. So literally about what 50 meters back that way, the current the sat nav it was telling us to go down there. Uh, there's no pathway or walkway, there's a walkway there but it's behind these massive gates and it's all locked. So I don't know what the deal is there. That's the way the sat nav is telling us to go. Anyway, what's the uh, vape shop? Shop over there called Space. Not sure what that does. And we've got a Nama Beer Promenade Beach Resort. Over the road. And here, Nama Beer Promenade Beach Resort. Managed by a core. I haven't noticed a lot of ATMs in the street. There's a couple of hotels up there that's got them outside. But actual ATMs on the street, I've not really seen that many. Unless they were there and I've just completely missed them. I don't see any. No. So you've got this junction here where that white pickup truck is there. If you turn right there it goes up King Salomon Road and Ring Road. Continue down for Al, Al Salam Boulevard. You've got the Novotel there and if you if you continue up this road the road I've just shown you there turn right up that road that takes you up towards our hotel I'm just on about ATMs as a bank that's actually a pharmacy thought it was a bank ATM there A lot of horns tooting away. It's a rather warm day. So make sure you carry liquids on you. Keep yourself hydrated in this heat. Over tell Santa Claus over the road getting ready for now uh, <laughs> Christmas 2024 so just as a reference point for anybody come to the area for the first time you've got the Novotel hotel there where you can see their flags and anything blown and then there's a sign there on the lamppost it's the guy, there's a guy back there in a security security hut said this you take the next left and that takes you down the beach let's play guess the horn game so you can guess when the taxi driver's going to oh, it's got somebody in yeah. 
So show me next life, yeah? So there you go, just as a reference point, like I say, literally 100 metres back up there, Novotel Hotel, all the flags outside, there's a sign there. And spin round and this looks like it's an access way to the beach area. So this is the weather, this is what we've got today. January, middle of January 2024, Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt. That's the weather we've got here. 28 degrees. Light little, light little breeze blowing. No clouds. Oh, man. And it's what time, Shell? It's 25 past 11. 25 past 11 in the morning. Like I say, it's our first time in this country. Not our first time in Africa, but first time here. That's where we've walked. It's a little market and a little souvenir shop on your right hand side. An Italian restaurant there. This is a charm map. We got the Gulf of Suez, which is there. It's now a bit up here. There's the Suez Canal. The Suez Canal there, which is the, I believe I'm, see if I'm getting this information correct. It's the waterway that links kind of the Middle East and the Far East with Europe. I mean, I'm, I stand to be corrected, but I'm sure a lot of the shipping um, lanes go through here. Yep. Okay, yeah. There's Haggadah. Red Sea. Mm -hmm. And then over there we've got Saudi Arabia, Palestine. Interesting looking map. So pizza where that map is, there's a pizzeria there, just as reference points for you. This is the beach area, this is Nama. Nama, is it Nama Beach? Is that what it's called? Nama. Diving place there. Anthias. Anthias. Quite a nice walk there, nice and wide. So this is a little shisha bar. Normally we have all the cushions and things there. It's not open at the moment obviously. I'll just scan a menu for you just so you got an idea. Just do like drinks. In terms of currency, 
just to give you basically 40 40 Egyptian pounds is one British pound so that's 50 so talking about one pound ten maybe Forty Egyptian pounds is one English or one British pound. Quite a nice water feature. The supermarket up there. Good price. Cheaper than Asda price. <laughs> <laughs> Middle Eastern Specialists, Tam Tam.
No idea if I got that menu at all. It was a reflection on my screen. I hope I did. Like I say, if I'm scanning too fast, just press pause. So we're next door to that Middle Eastern restaurant, we've got a Chinese and Japanese teppanaki. Not sure whether it's puffy or not, but. Again, I'm not sure whether I'm catching any of this, I'm just, there's a few shadows about as well. Not getting that, am I? There's a bit of a bad shadow coming from this, so it's, sorry about that. Anybody that wants to know, is there a Chinese in Sharm El Sheikh in Namibia? There's one there. There's about to be another one. Ko. Kokai. Sometimes these places are menus online anyway, so sometimes as well Google doesn't always give you the correct information either. <clears throat> I mean just something I want to add as well, um Nama Beer area. It's you might wander on through the day and there's maybe not many people around or few places closed. The reason for that is it's more, I'd say night time, it comes alive at night. I mean, I'll imagine down here on a night time when it's all lit up and we're going to plan on coming down here on the night time just to shoot again, just show you what it's like. La Fleur restaurant. What's La Fleur shell? Yeah? Lebanese. Lebanese. Lebanese restaurant. Lebanese. Seagulls restaurant, pub, internet cafe. Cool terrace gym and spa reception. Diving centre, beach centre and beach bar. Which is there, down there. Jolie Bar. I won't get one free. I seem to remember us getting them um, done by the buy one get one free not that long ago. Not here, no. I'm just saying. Just generally. Aye. Uh, it's exactly it now, isn't it? You've got to double check, haven't you? Treble check. A few little mark, uh, supermarkets, pharmacies, and things up there. There's a little shop here. Hey. $5 store. So near where the $5 supermarket is, or $5 store. You got this place. Wi-Fi.
shisha beer, dance drinks, bar. Oh, yeah, it's very rustic looking, isn't it? Mm, I like it like this. Quite rustic. That's some old character, isn't it? Yeah, most of the places down here are night time. Probably one or two of them will be open through the day, but I think the main the main traffic through the doors will be night time customers. I like English people. If you're yeah, if you're in Namibia, come and see this guy. Yeah. I'll show you his shop when we go outside. How to find it. What price here? Cheaper chips. Mm. Cup of coffee. Quite strong, isn't it? Quite strong coffee. Yeah, mm. So that one there, that one there is on my leg here. <laughs> Natural medicine for, mos for mosquito bites. So when we go outside in the street, I'll show you exactly where the shop is. So if you're in Sharm El Sheikh, if you know the area, then you'll know. But if you're here for the first time, and uh, there are all sorts in the shop. For the beach. For the beach. Souvenir. Sunglasses. Souvenirs. Everything. Like fixed price. Fixed price. We're going to say goodbye to oh, Mr. Van Dam. Have a good day, sir. <laughs> Are you with you in the evening? Or? That will get you now. Come in the evening? Maybe you have to ride tomorrow night. Um, I'll ride. This is uh, because when you come back, not forget Cafe Bianco Cafe. Where? Cafe Bianco. Cafe Bianco. Yeah, we are near to Cafe Bianco. Right. Cafe Bianco. And this beach. And then you got Namibia Hotel. Beach, yes. Beach. So that's how you find it. Like I say, if you know the area and you've been here before, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. But if you're coming to Sharm El Sheikh for the first time, yeah. that's what our videos are all about. Just helping you out with what the streets look like in the current times, 2024. All updated information. Come and see this man. <laughs> So we'll continue along this way to the right hand side. And we'll continue on. So literally along there, 50 metres turn left is where we've just been. Hey. This is Namibia Suites and Spa, the White House. Oh, 
Right, so a little bit of a change of plan. We were going to continue further along behind us, but uh, we've checked the time and we've got to be somewhere else um, to do another one. So uh, this is this is the area during the day. It's completely different on night time. Apparently, we've not been here before, so we've not seen how it looks on night time. And uh, but we will be coming back down. Uh, so that's it. That's it for this one. We're moving on to our next little filament location to do what we need to do next um, I hope the videos are helping you that's all that's all we do them for just to help the the first time visiting tourist to new areas we're new to this area ourselves so we're putting the content together um, hit the like button if you enjoyed it that's all we ask just free support for us and uh, subscribe it's also free um, any questions type away. I'm not quite sure how many questions we'll be able to answer like, but we'll try our best. Information. <laughs> um, guys. I know. All over. Uh, so you take care guys and we'll see you somewhere soon in Sharm El Sheikh. Bye for now.